Hi, I'm Dee Stevenson, and I'd like to share with you the implantation of a toric lens. This is kind of a unique toric lens. This is a true line toric lens, and this is based on the Crystal Lens platform. It's a premium IOL, and it's an accommodating IOL, so it allows you to see intermediate distance and near vision without, without glasses or very independent of glasses. So let me just show you. This is a post-refractive patient. This patient has had um, RK, as you can see, on, on the cornea. The incision is 2.8 millimeters, and again, this is a comes out in a planar fashion. And I put the in the 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 leading haptic into the bag, and then I push with the stylet the trailing haptic. I try very hard to use the second instrument to place this lens in the bag. You have to make sure that the trailing haptic goes in the bag. So I kind of rock the lens almost to the point, and I push it so that I know all four haptics are in the bag. If not, this lens does not perform well at all. So now I know it's in the bag, and if it does not center well, you know it's not in the bag. So I try to rotate it, sometimes 360 degrees. I also, again, polish the capsule, but I'll just show here quickly how uh, nicely this lens centers. I, again, um, am rotating it just to make sure it's in the bag. I'm going to rotate it into the axis of astigmatism, the steep axis of astigmatism. And this will, um, and I'll show you this in just a second um, on this video. So I'm filling it back up with viscoelastic, and as you see, there's four Purkinje images that you're seeing from the microscope. I'm measuring the pressure because I'm getting ready to use Aura. Two of those are from the lens itself, and two of those, of course, for, are from the microscope. So once this is aligned with, with um, and I use Aura again, once this is lined, aligned on your steep axis, before I take the viscoelastic out, I mark the external cornea. So I don't have to redo measurements. So I can see grossly if this lens moves in the eye. So it's a nice little pearl that I, that I um, use on every case. So I can take the viscoelastic out knowing that that lens is not going to move away from those dots. Now it looks like it does here, but it really doesn't. But this gives you a good this gives you a good idea that this lens is is where it's supposed to be. A lot of times the pupil comes down, you can't see the markings on the toric lens, so this allows you to see that the if you push the iris back, that the lens is still in very good position. I will do a uh, final reading with Aura. In this particular lens, you want to make sure with a crystal lens or a true line that the that wound seals very nicely. And I put a suture in just because it allows me to sleep at night. I don't worry about my patient rubbing their eye. Even though I can do a self-sealing incision on these, I still put a suture in and I remove it at one week. But this is a very elegant, um, accommodative lens. Uh, you want to make sure you get all the viscoelastic out so it positions itself in, in the appropriate in the appropriate place for good healing and good outcomes. I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and I hope you enjoy learning more about ophthalmology. Thank you for your time.